Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. I'm excited to be with you today for a first BTP ever, Malifaux Battle Report. Uh, also another first, another BTP first, Tara's first battle report. Woo woo! Yeah. All right, so uh, we've already done a couple flips to determine terrain and whatnot, so I'll give you a little quick overview of what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna be on bog terrain, a nice outdoor setup. And our cruise, we're doing a 25 soul stone uh, game today. So we've got the gremlins with the uh, master of Somertooth. All right, so I've got a cache of five soul stones. And over here, we've got Tara's crew. Uh, she's playing McMorning, the resurrectionist. So here's McMorning. Looks like we've got a flesh construct, some canines, some nurses, and five soul stone cash. All right, so as I said, we've already flipped for terrain and whatnot, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna deploy and we're gonna get right back to it. I hope you're as excited as I am. Okay, so what we've done is we've uh, flipped for the uh, strategy, which is treasure hunt. We've got a 30 mil 30 millimeter treasure counter there in the center of the board. We also flipped for deployment and we've chosen our schemes. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of clumped over here and my scheme is going to be uh, steel relic. Now we, we're just doing one scheme a piece to, for simplicity's sake, but also to keep it thematic. So steel, uh, steel relic and over here, Tara, what, what you got? I have, I'm going to do the scheme um, framed for murder. So I have to pick one of my models, and if Zane's master kills it, then I get a victory point. Is it and just one victory point? No, it? it's an, since I announced it, I get another victory point. So that's two possible victory points. All right, so. So let um, me pick my model. Do you want, um, I think I'm going to do that nurse right there with the syringe. Okay, so the blue. Yeah. The blue nurse outfit. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if I kill her, you get victory points. If your master, if my master her. kills okay, her, great. I'll try to avoid that. Um, also worth noting is that we're uh, we chose a uh, attribute of the board. Since we're in a bog, it's also foggy. So uh, Arcanist versus Outcasts in the foggy bogs. We will get back to you as soon as we uh, flip for initiative. I'm not an Arcanist, I'm a Resurrectionist. Oh, Resurrectionist versus Outcasts. Thank you, Tara. No problem. All right, so the foggy bogs, we're gonna flip for initiative here in a second and uh, let the games begin. Yeah. All right. All right, so I won the initiative and uh, this turn was a lot of walk, like double walk actions. Um, but there's a, probably a couple few interesting things worth noting. So I'll give you a look at what, uh, what I did over here. Um, you'll notice I just sort of moved everything forward. This guy, this gremlin here is creeping up on the rock. Um, I did do a, uh, a spell with Somertooth uh, called Sui, and I used that to basically push my war pigs forward so he got a, like a little boost in his movement before uh, before I activated him, so that's where I'm at. Uh, nothing, nothing else too uh, interesting. Turn one. Uh, you did. You did something with um, Ophelia. Oh well, yeah, Ophelia. She's got instinctual, so two zero actions let her. Uh, basically, uh, it lets me activate a friendly gremlin model like directly after her, which turn one, it's not gonna play that much of a role. But I did use, ooh, a girl, to, uh, to pull one of my uh, gremlins forward, so he got a little boost in his movement as well. So, uh, let's see, what'd you do, Tara? Well, so basically, like Zane said, most of my turn was walking, so I got all of my models around this thing. Um, okay. I tried to keep, so the nurses have an ability or an action, a zero action called attendant, where base to, models that are base to base with them when they activate will have um, 
a plus one armor um, when uh, targeted with ranged attacks. Okay. So I made sure that I had some base to base models here. Yeah, that's something you'll probably want to keep using throughout yeah. the game as the action <laughs> heats up. And then this flesh construct here, it's dumb. Uh huh. So I discarded a control card so that it would, because as a dumb model, it starts off with like only one AP. Right. So if I discard a control card from my deck, then it gets the normal two AP. So I made it so that he could double walk so he can be all up in the action. Right. That actually comes out your hand though, right? Yeah. Right. So I discarded a measly card. To right. So all right. So. I'm just gonna say this. If I do anything stupid, it's because this is only my second ever game and my first batter up, so be nice to me in the comments. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna do fine. So that's just a, a little please be nice to Tara because she's mean uh, with this. How can anybody be mean to you? So I uh, take a look at what she's got there. It's pretty cool. So also, I didn't do this this turn, but McMorning and this zombie chihuahua can be companions, so that'll uh -huh. play in later on in the game. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Shannon just like. Yeah, saw Shannon's something. trying to photobomb us, but we're not going to let her. <laughs> She's trying to screw us up. All right, so uh, we'll come back here in a second. We're going to flip for initiative uh, for next activation, uh, next turn. So uh, give us just a second. We'll be right back. All right, so uh, it's down to uh, turn two. Let's uh, flip for initiative. You ready, Tara? Um, yes. All right, here goes. One, okay, two, two, three. three. Ooh. Mm. All right, so you got yeah, initiative that time, a two and an eight. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use a soul stone for this. No point so, in wasting uh, them. All right, so we will come right back. Yeah, if anything well, what we're going to do happens. is uh, we're going to, since it's still early and the action hasn't really boiled up yet, well, we'll, uh, we're just going to activate until something interesting or exciting is about to happen, and then you guys can be uh, be a part of the action. So um, we're just going to start activating turn two, and anything exciting happens, you'll be the first to know. Hey, Tara's going buck wild. She's uh, <laughs> she's about to activate McMorning, and uh, I think things are going to get dicey already. So uh, here's some action. Okay. All right, Tara, what are you doing? So I am activating McMorning, and he has a companion in the zombie Chihuahua. Okay. So that means basically the zombie chihuahua is going to activate right after okay. the morning. Um, so I am going to spend a body parts counter. Okay. So you started the game with one of those. You, yeah. you traded a soul stone for some body parts. Yeah, that's one of the things that the morning can do. Right. So this, if I discard a, a body parts counter, I get fast, which means I get like a free one. Yeah, and uh, what is that? He, he loves his work, or what is it called? It's called... Passion for his work. Yeah. All right. So, so that's discarded. So let's take a look where we're at. Um, so McMorning's here. Just as a recap, uh, what I did so far was uh, I moved my gremlins forward. I activated Ophelia, and I was able to use ooh a girl, and I got my gremlins, uh, including uh, Somertooth here. Uh, I moved them up. They got some real maneuverability. Right next to the treasure. So there's the treasure also. Um, okay. So let's do this. So, so she, I'm spinning. I'm doing my, my fast. So basically I'm going to double walk. So I get the free walk and then I'm using one action to walk. Okay. So he has a walk of five. So that'll be ten. Okay. This might not work. It's going to get... So basically I'm just getting it him closer. Holy cow to the treasure. All right, so McMorning is... Uh, He's creeping up on that. Not just creeping, he is jumping right into the pot. Okay, so... Just give me one second. Okay. Okay, so I have... McMorning has a zero action called Scalpel Slingin'. Yeah. So it says make a range six surgical implements strike. Okay. And surgical implements is just my attack, basically. Right. Um, it says if the target is wounded by this attack, push this model into base contact with target. This is considered a melee attack. All right, so who's your target? So I'm going to target Miss Ophelia. No, that's not Ophelia. That's just a regular gremlin. Ophelia's in the back there. Yep, so I'm going to target, target this guy right here. Okay, so go ahead and measure your range. So it's range six, which I am. 
All right. So, so uh, now we have a opposed duel. Yep. All right, so I'll flip my defense and you go ahead and flip your uh, combat bonus, all right? All right. Here we go. One, two, two, three. So I'm, you're at a four, so I got a six. My combat is six. So I'm at 12. Okay, your total is 12, mm -hmm. and my regular gremlins, uh, let's see. Gremlins defense five. So I'm at nine. Um, now, when I'm losing, I have a chance to cheat fate. So let's see here. See, if, do I have anything worth uh, cheating? Do I want to save the gremlin from certain doom? <laughs> I probably do. So what was your total? Twelve. Twelve? So, hmm. All right, so let's go ahead, see if I can't save the scrawny gremlin's life. Uh, I'm going to cheat oh. with a 10. So my defense total is now 14. Uh, now that I'm winning the duel, you have a chance to cheat fate. Do I do it, guys? Hmm. Give me a second. The target is wounded by this attack. Push this model to base contact target. See, I have to decide if I want to risk going into base contact when there's those... Well, Other the, the way it looks is uh, if you don't, you're going to kind of just be hanging in the wind. It's true. It's your, but it's your decision. Don't let me influence you. It is you. my decision. See, these are these hasty decisions that a new right. player makes. Well, luck favors the brave. Um, either way, I'm going to be kind of stranded out in the That's true. by myself. So I might as well, might as well try, try and do some damage. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So what are you going to cheat with? Remember, my, my defensive total is 14. So she's done. Does she cheat? That was her attack. What a cheater. It's a thing in the game. It's, it's a thing in the game. When, when we say cheating fate, you, you're allowed, you have sort of a poker hand, for those of you who don't know. Uh, we've got some. some over yeah. Here. So the peanut gallery is like, oh, she's a cheater, she's a cheater. Well, actually, uh, in Malifaux, you're kind of uh, the master of your own fate. Yeah. So. Does she play uh, something from her hand to try and wound me? Yeah, I bet the fans are all like, yeah, do it! <laughs> right? So... Yeah, it's just... It's kind of hard. It's a dicey choice, but... I mean, like I said, you're going to be stranded in the wind. Either way, but I'd have to give up a pretty decent card yeah. in order to do it. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just be hanging out. Alright, so do you have any other uh, action points this turn? Um, well, I did use my, I did discard a body counter, so I could... You have one more action point. I do have one more action, but... You could just, uh... I could just try again. You could cause another, um... Uh, melee duel. We could. You want to do that? Let's do that. Alright, so... Let's flip. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Okay, so All that's right. exactly the a same. A four and a six. All right, so I'm losing the duel again. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm at what, nine? And yeah. what's your total? Twelve. Again. Twelve. So do I cheat again? Heck yeah, I cheat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right? Uh, Zane is well known for cheating. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got this ace here. Actually, no, aces are worth one. What am I doing? <laughs> no, it's not going to work. So if I have seven plus, what was your total? I'm at twelve. You're at twelve? So if I have... Uh, all right, so I'm going to cheat with a seven, right? Now, we're tied. So what that means is your damage flip is going to be slightly reduced. But as long as I wound... Uh, you win, you're winning the... Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah, you're winning the duel. So but I'll a tie just, just reduces the damage. Yeah, I'll just... All right, just so... Tie. So let's flip for damage. Uh, let's figure out the difference. Okay, so the difference in... Bop, 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 our handy rule book. Uh, it's tied, so you get two negative flips. So you're gonna flip basically twice. flip two additional cards. So you're gonna flip three for the damage okay. and take the lowest. Here, let me move this, this so yeah, flip towards the center so we can all see it. Okay, so here's one. Oh, Ugh, come on, weak. Oh goodness. All right, so she's got two severes and a a moderate. So that means the weakest of all is the moderate. Yeah. What's your moderate damage on uh, McMorning scalpel? It is a three. Three wounds, yeah. really? All right, well, uh, I've got four wounds on my gremlin, so... Okay, so I do three wounds. Yep. And then Anything I Anything else trigger? 
I go into base to base contact with this model. Oh goodness. So I'm so, here. So there you go. He's he's doing it. He's flying in, killing stuff. Yeah. So you get a free attack, is that what happens? I still have because that was just a zero action. Yeah. So I still have an action. Okay. So I can go ahead and do the actual surgical implement. Oh goodness. So it's another uh, attack it's flip. Another attack. All right. Yeah. So we have another opposed duel. Let me mark my wounds real quick. Go ahead and turn it off. I think Shannon needs to talk to me. Okay. Okay. Just all right. Kidding. So. <laughs> all right. So boom. Are you just on looking. Uh, all right. So. Uh, Let's do another. Uh, th this is another opposed duel. Yeah. Flip towards the center so we can uh, we can both see it on camera. All right. One, yes. two, three. Thirteen oh. and three. Thirteen and three. It sounds unlucky to me. Um, okay, so, so you're winning the duel. I'm winning the duel. I have a nineteen right now. I don't have anything. Uh, I don't have anything, guys, that I can cheat with. So it looks like uh, this gremlin's probably toast. Ugh. So. Okay, so what, the way it works in combat is we figure out the difference in uh, in totals. So what's your total? Mine is I'm at 13, and then I have a six combat bonus. So your total is so 19. I'm at 19. Okay, I'm at uh, three plus my defense of five is eight. Um, eight versus 13. We just look at this little chart again. Uh, it's what five. So a difference of five is going to be a negative flip. Okay. So you're going to flip two cards and pick the worst. But you know what? I've only got one wound left. So it doesn't really matter. The dude's going to be dead. Yeah. Because my, but but my we do need to flip yeah. the cards anyways. Because it's... Because it could alter the, the yeah. fate of your next flip. Uh, so I have flips. four and nine. So it take the four. So a week is what? Mm -hmm. It's a two. Two. So, all right. So that gremlin is... Gremlin is ghost. dead. All right. So... Uh, he's gonna leave some body parts behind, probably a, a corpse counter actually. And do you have any other activation or any action points with McMorning yet? Um, no, I'm all out of actions. I have no. Yeah, I am done. All right, so I'm gonna grab some body parts, and then why don't we, since you companion well, yeah. the, the Chihuahua, the we'll uh, we'll activate the Chihuahua. Let me get those counters. Okay. You ready? Okay. So I have to react to to this uh, very brave charge that just happened. Uh, I'm going to activate Somer Tooth and uh, well I'm going to use his uh, he's got a uh, action called Reckless so I can suffer one damage to receive fast. Well actually you know what no I'm not going to do that. I'm activating him but I'm not going to move. I, I think I'm just going to okay I've got it. I'm going to use and I'm going to have to cast that. It's a uh, casting cost 10, so I'm going to have to flip. All right, so come on. Six. Uh, my casting cost is five, so I did it. With 11, I get the casting cost. Uh, the spell goes off. And what uh, Sui does, friendly pigs may push up to their charge towards this model. All right, so this war pig back here. It's just going to push. The idea is that I get him <laughs> in charge range. So that he can attack Yeah, me. I'm going to get this pig. If, if Summer Tooth can't do it, the, the war pig hopefully can. Uh, so that was a one action point uh, action. That still leaves me one action point. So I'm going to try and do a, uh, I think I'm going to do a ranged attack. Uh, I will. So I'm going to use my boomer. He's got a boom stick, um, range of 10, um, easily within 10. So this is going to be another uh, opposed duel. So in this case, you're going to roll your, or, sorry, flip for your defense, and I'm going to flip with my combat bonus. Okay. Ready? So I'm going to do it right there. One, yep. One two, two, three. three. All right. All right. So I get a chance to cheat. Mm. Oh wait, I have a defense of four. Yeah, what's our so totals? So I'm at eleven. Okay. So you're the, uh, at. What are you at? Uh, the jack. It looks like it's an eleven. So I'm at uh, sixteen. So I have to get. You're at 15, you said? 16. 16. 
Well, I have a card that'll do it. Do I want to use it? No, it's up to you. Well, I can get it to tie. All right, so if you tie, it's going to basically cause me to do uh, less damage. Uh, negative twists, so extra flips take the lowest of the flips for damage. Okay, so I'm going to cheat with that. All right, so we're tied. Yeah, so I'm at defense four, so I'm at 16 as well. All right, well, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do that. A tie is what? It's uh, two negative two twists. Two negative twists. All right, so I'm gonna flip three, and I'm gonna choose the lowest. Okay. So for the damage, eight, seven, and a queen. The, uh, the eight, seven, and 12, so uh, let's see. So those are all moderate. These, the seven and eight are the moderate, so for the boomstick, uh, moderate damage is three, but it's also a blast. Uh -huh. um, since you don't have any surrounding models, I'm not gonna worry so much about that. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Don't erase what's on there, just as All right, cool. All right, so three damage okay. to McMorning. All right, just give me one second to mark that and we will be back. Okay, so Zane's gonna go ahead and activate, but before he does that, I'm just gonna explain what I did with my activation. I activated this flesh construct here, and then I did the same thing I did last turn, which was I discarded a card so that he could do a second action, and then I just double walked him. All right, so he's not gonna be stuck too far away. Yeah, so I'm trying to get my models so that Dr. McMorning's not completely abandoned over right. there. Okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna activate this uh, gremlin who's behind the rocks here, and I wanna get him in a sort of shooting position. Uh, so I'm gonna just activate him, and I'll, I guess I'll have to do a walk. Um, to climb up there, it's gonna cost a double. But I've got a walk of five, so it's gonna be two inches to get up, and then an inch over. So that's three, I still have two inches. Let's go ahead and bring him out here, uh, so just to the edge, I right guess. There. All right. So that was my walk. Uh, I still have a zero if I've got one. Which these guys, the gremlins, don't really have any zero actions. But I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, a shot with my boomstick, and I'm gonna target McMorning. Um, so that's where the action is. So um, I'm in uh, I'm in range. I've got to be careful not to miss because if I miss, I can accidentally. Uh, they, these gremlins, they're uh, kind of reckless. So I might end up shooting one of my own guys in the back of the head. So uh, hopefully I'm not taking too much of a risk. But this is going to be another uh, opposed duel. All right. So get ready to flip. Um, I'm using my combat bonus of four. And, and I have a defense of four. All right, so it's going to be all about the flip. One, One two, two, three. three. Eleven and eight. All right, so you're winning the flip. So I'm, we're at 15. I'm at 15. And I'm Zane's at 12. At 12. So if I want to hit, I've got to cheat at least an 11. Sadly, uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. All right, McMorning safe safe another turn. All right, for I, now. Just, I don't have enough to cheat with. So, problem is, when this model misses with a boomstick strike, the closest other friendly model within 10, uh, 10 inches suffers an unmodified damage flip. Ooh. Yikes, all right, so uh, the closest model. That's over here. Uh, that's gonna be Somertooth. Which is his master. Yeah, I just shot my own master in the back of the head. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so, unmodified damage flip. Oh, where's that at? Okay. So, a nine. A nine is moderate. So, uh, Summer Tooth just got shot for two damage. And I had to do, I didn't have to do a thing to make that happen. Thank you for that. Okay. That's uh, what I like. Killing that's... things without any work done on my part. That's my activation and it's gonna be uh, Terra. Yep. No? How do you know? It's black. These are all basically. Okay. 
Okay. Who does the, how does the flip for foggy work again? Um, it's like a high, it's like a severe flip. Okay, do you wanna go ahead and get that on film or no? Um, we can. What, when do we wanna do, is now a good time to film an entire turn? Do we wanna do an entire action phase on film? Uh, what we're doing is fine. Okay. They're not, they're not missing out on anything. They're just seeing double walks. Okay. No, as long good. as they know what's going on. Like, it's a good, it, at the end of the turn, it's a good idea to kind of sweep the battlefield so that they can get an idea of where yeah. the positions okay. are. Let's do the foggy flip. Okay. Right. Um, fog. Okay, random is Joker 10, 11, 12, or 13. But let's do the uh, closing phase of last turn. Okay. Shuffle fate decks. I can I keep that black joker out of there? Nope. Oh. Um, we'll just cut the cards for Foggy. You want me to? Go ahead and do it. I, you activated last, so. Why don't we just say it was Foggy? Okay, just let's to make just it do it. Yeah. Okay. Because we didn't, and then we'll just do it the rest of the time. That sounds good. Okay. All what right. does Foggy mean? Uh, it's minus one to casting and combat flips. We just gotta remember to do it for everybody. Yeah. Can't believe how hardcore you're like outnumbering me, killing my guys already. No, I just make sure the warning doesn't die. Well, you know what I want to do, right? What? I want to Shall try we? and steal his artifact. Remember my object, my scheme? I have to do an interact action. What would you steal from me? Steal relics. Remember my scheme? Well, what's a relic? Do I have one? We're just assuming that you have no. some. It could be your pocket watch or whatever, okay. right? Well, I want to pick up that treasure and get the heck out of there. Well, I also want the treasure. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And I want you to kill that freaking nurse. You better get her closer then. I'm trying. Have they been running? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, okay. So that is the closing phase. Yep. Now we do or what, what the draw phase. Foggy. Yeah. Draw phase, uh, we discard cards from your hand that you don't want. I'm just discarding one. And then we draw back up, right? All but one. Garbage. Yeah, just, you do draw back up. Okay, not bad. A little better, I guess. Alright. So, when we get the camera on, it's going to be a flip for initiative. Yeah. And we have to say that it's foggy. And we flip for foggy. Okay. And and to recap, uh, before we tell them wrong, <coughs> foggy is all attack and casting flips receive a, mo a negative twist. How's it going, Cameron? Yeah, how's this going? Uh, this is a treasure counter. This is the objective. Uh -huh. Whoever takes it back, basically to, to their, their deployment. deployment so is gonna get victory points, but we also have a scheme each. Mm -hmm. My scheme is to steal a relic from her master, who happens to be right here. Yeah. And then her scheme is- To get him to I kill. Can kill if, I, if my master kills that nurse, she gets victory points. So, probably not gonna do it. How can you get him to kill her? Make it so that she's the only person I would around. just try and be a thorn in their side. But if you know about it. Right. She gets so typically you wouldn't tell yeah. her. But she announced it so announced that it's extra one, victory points if it succeeds. But there's no way I'm gonna kill the nurse. Give me a break. Yeah. Unless <laughs> she's like in your grill. Yep. Okay. Unless you get the nurse up in my grill, it's probably not gonna happen. Alright. So we're gonna do an initiative flip. Uh -huh. um, depending on who wins the initiative. One. Let's keep the camera rolling a little bit. Okay. Alright. So it's minus one to casting and attack. So do you want to film me or should I film you? I'll, I'll film it. Okay. It's, it's 
Right, foggy is minus one to casting. It's a negative flip. Negative flip. A negative twist. Okay, let's do this. Okay, do you want to narrate it this time? Yeah, I'll try. Okay, ready? Yeah. You want me to just turn it on immediately? Um, as soon as I get situated. Uh, I don't know. Let's go around this way. Yeah. Curses. Well, I did have to burn a soul stone for it. I know. Okay, are you ready? You could have burned a soul stone. I didn't know that. Well, uh, I can't get much better than a 12. Unless you get like a joker. Or yeah, a 13, I'm right? not going to.